Uh, at least can hear the crew in the middle of boarding. Plus, they're immune to mind control. That's really the only good things. Yeah, I know. They're they they're like basically humans that can't be mind controlled. So okay. Uh, let's see. So flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. So the flour is we're doing one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I just do three half cups. Do any math. I can do three half cups. That's one and a half. You're called for the flour to go in last. Well, it's mine. Um, let's see. This one says, whisk together flour, baking powder, bake, baking soda, and salt. So all the dry ingredients. Then you use a separate bowl to put the uh, coconut oil and the sugar, add egg, and then you add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients is what it's saying to do. So uh, uh, we're, we're just putting the, uh, putting the dry ingredients together first. So this isn't FTL. You so only tuned in for FTL content. <laughs> no cakes. No cakes. You were wrong when you said cake is better than cookies, man. You're wrong. Um, so I have, I have two baking sheets. One here. I think this one is actually made for cakes, but... Uh, I think we're going to have 24 cookies, so I needed two sheets. So that's close enough to a second sheet. So, all right. Uh, flour is first. One and a half cups of flour. If you had to pick a favorite type A, type B, and type C, what would they be? Man, Uncovered Sammy, you must have just come from YouTube because you really want some <laughs> FDL. Sorry, we're not FDL on today. Uh, type A is probably, I don't know. Stealth A, type B is Mantis B, type C. I don't even know if there's a type C ship that I like that much. No songs. All right, let me go turn song requests on. I'm going to turn it on very quiet because the volume of this microphone is not super loud, but I'll go turn them on just for Kenny. I'll be right back, guys. also warn you, I can't hear anything because I don't have headset on or anything. I can't hear anything on the stream. So, uh, yeah, you all will have to uh, let me know if somebody follows and I miss it or anything. We do have our metric system screwed up. That is right. Okay, there's a half cup. What measurements do you use over in UK if it's not cups? Uh, if you can't hear, it's better to turn it off. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm not going to go back and forth to my computer the whole time. I was thinking about having music on since otherwise it'll just be really quiet. So it's fine. Okay, so there is one and a half cups of flour. Because uh, someone can request racist songs. Yeah. Uh, Grams? Okay, okay. You excited for your attempt at the slug ship? You're really good at the games. You're open for giving you advice. Well, no matter how good at your, you are at the game, Slug B is like one of the worst ships in the game. So, you know, you just have to get lucky. You will mute the audio for racist songs. There we go. Great. Which will mute my voice, too. I don't know. Maybe you can mute songs. So, <laughs> Desert Eagle, number one mod, NA. That's right. Okay, let's see here. So that's one and a half cups of flour. Um, baking powder is a half a teaspoon of baking powder. I don't know spoons that much. Uh, the teaspoon is a small one, right? A half a teaspoon is a very small amount of baking powder. And I've never used, I don't think I used baking soda in my recipes before, so. You can remote control the audio. You can mute the songs without touching your voice. Okay, cool. Half a teaspoon. Teaspoon is less. Okay, so that's a small one. Hey, what's up, Spectre? So, a half a teaspoon. It seems like a very small amount. Hopefully, hopefully I don't do too much of this. I'm going to do a small amount. I think that's like half a teaspoon. I 
guess you don't need very much baking powder or baking soda for this. You stream on Twitch as well, and you're starting to stream FTL, and you're nervous to play the Type B? <laughs> well, good luck when you do it. Uh, so that's a half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda. And when I got baking soda, I'm like, holy crap, this is the stuff you clean stuff with, right? So, uh, I feel like I'm putting cleaning fluid in my cookies, but it has a picture of cookies on this package, so I guess that's a good sign. I have a nice kitchen. You thought it was smaller? It's, it is small. <laughs> it probably looks bigger than it is. Giggity. That's what she said. Okay. Tablespoon is equal to three teaspoons. Okay. Okay. That's good knowledge. I think I use a tablespoon for something, but like... I, this is teaspoon, this is tablespoon, and I did half a tablespoon, which is what it is. Uh, half a teaspoon, I mean. Yeah, so half a teaspoon. So, I feel like there should be a more exact way of measuring that. Actually, you know what? I have these little things. Damn it, chat. My tablet is not that good. Yeah, these are actually exact. Okay, let me, I actually have some exact half a teaspoon things. Let me wash these. I never used, I forgot, I didn't even know I had these. I don't even know all the kitchen utensils I have. Let me wash them real quick. like I don't even know how, where I got half of my kitchen supplies. One of the guys at my church job when I moved out was like, here, I have a bunch of extra kitchen stuff. Here, have it. So I have all this stuff that I don't even know that I have. Uh, let's see. The door looks tiny. What? This is a sector you got for FTL. I can't look at anything, any of that stuff. So you can show that to other people, but I can't look at anything in chat because I'm looking at a tablet right now. So just so you guys know. Okay, hopefully, I don't know if I want to use these. They're kind of sticky. <laughs> I think I need to run these through the wash. I'm just going to like guesstimate with an actual table teaspoon, I guess. Oh, well. Okay, so I did the baking. I did the baking powder. I need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm trying to open this damn thing. Yes, I just said one of my utensils is sticky, like it was used for syrup or something. I don't know. Nice shirt. Well, yeah, so I thank you. This, so Shogi, this is the mixer that Shogi sent me, which is pretty freaking awesome. And this is the shirt that Shogi got me way back when. It says something about hashtag Baker Henry life. So, you know what? I forgot. We can't be doing our bacon without our, our hat. So, we have our chef's hat. So, do we sell the shirts? Um, I don't know. Shogi, you're the one who set this shirt up. Do you know if there's a way for other people to get the shirts if they want them? I, I forget. I don't know if you still have the link for this or what. You have other work to do, so you're going to head out? All right. Well, thanks. I've covered Sammy. I'm not doing it till Monday, so <laughs> we'll see you later, man. All right, so. Uh, let's see. So it's half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just kind of, I think that's about half a teaspoon. Okay. So there's that. You have to check if you do. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I remember you designed the shirt on a, on a certain website and then sent it to me. I thought we had a link for it at one point, but I don't know. It's been so long. Where do I get the Baker hat? <laughs> Amazon. Where do you get everything? You order it on Amazon, man. 
of baking soda. One bag, countless uses. You can clean stuff or make cookies, or clean your cookies, or bake your cleaning supplies. Okay, I don't know if that's actually closing or not. Okay. And it says, uh, what did it say? A quarter, quarter teaspoon of salt. So, let's have to, again, guesstimate what a quarter of this is. Hope it's okay if I use coarse kosher salt. I would assume that's okay. I'm not going to do much of that, so I think that's about a quarter of a tablespoon or so. Okay. You never used Amazon. What is that? Oh, my God. Can Rand and Shogi have a surf lord relationship where Shogi buys everything while Rand makes cookies and plays FTL? I think that's basically what our relationship is. So, Okay. Um, so we were whisking together flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Okay. My new whisk It's made of bamboo. Gonna whisk this together. I've been needing a whisk. I made a, uh, I made an al chicken alf chicken fettuccine alfredo the other day, and I didn't have a whisk, so I feel like I didn't quite make it exactly like I was supposed to, but it still tasted really good. So, salt <laughs> as expected. Got to have a dash of salt in anything involved with ran. That's right. <laughs> salt as expected. Okay, so. I'm just whisking some dry ingredients, so there's that. Okay, so next we're doing our wet ingredients. So using electric mix mixer. Okay, Pie Boy, I got a question for you. Now this recipe it says in a medium bowl, use an electric mix mixer, cream together coconut oil, add egg, and beat until well combined. What's the difference between creaming and beating? It says add egg and vanilla and beat. Does a beat? How do you? Beat an egg. Is that like using the whisk or should I use the mixer for that too? Nice whiskers. All right, thanks. The baker hat came straight from your wildest fantasy. Oh my god. All right, so but we are going to put coconut oil and sugars. So how much uh, coconut oil is it? It's a half a cup of cup coconut oil, which I forgot to get that out. Uh, creaming is mixing the oil with sugar. Oil or butter, okay, which in this case we're using the coconut. I got refined coconut oil. Hopefully this will serve the place of butter in this recipe. And it's supposed to be really good. Heard a couple people say that coconut oil is really good in cookies, so we're giving this a try. All right, so half a cup coconut oil. And we're going to put this in the, this one right here. Sure, I got the right amount. Half a cup. Yep. All right, I think I have to use a spoon to get this in here. Oh, this is like lard or something. Okay. <laughs> it looks gross. But if it's going to be like butter, I guess it's got to be like that kind of stuff. Looks delicious. Uh, that smells yummy. Well, there's no smells yet. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like lard, I guess. So I guess that's kind of what it is. All right, so that's a half a cup. Okay, man, I hate this that I have to use my phone and my tablet because they keep wanting to shut off. Heat the oven, you sir? Yeah, I do need to preheat it to 350, so let me go ahead and get that going now. Good call. Thank you, guys. You've never used coconut oil? Well, we'll see if it's any good. If you cream it, you will know when it's right because it really just gets the texture of cookie dough. Funnily enough. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm doing the... Coconut oil and the sugars, and how much sugar? Half a cup of uh, brown sugar, a quarter cup of granulated sugar. So half a cup of dark brown sugar, all right. Using 
lots of halves of cups of things. Dry this off. Hey, what's up, man? Who stands? How are you doing? In courts? How are you doing, my wonderful friends? Good to see you all. By the way, if anybody follows or subscribes, I can't see it right now. So you guys can let me know so I can thank them, or I'll just thank you later because I'm in the kitchen and I can't see all that stuff. So, all right, so half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, all right. Can't believe I'm cooking on stream or baking or doing whatever we're doing right now. How am I gonna seal this after I open it is the question. I don't have a, my sandwich bags are too small. I'll worry about that later. Need to do this more often? <laughs> well, hey, if I do it every time I run out of cookies, probably like once a week, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's the recipe if anybody wants to see the recipe for the cookies we're making. Okay. Okay. Well, half a cup of brown sugar. I better make sure I don't put it in the wrong bowl here. Drop and spill something here. Right, so there's the brown sugar, and then I think it's at a quarter cup of the granulated sugar, which is the white, the white stuff. Uh, I agree, you love cooking streams, especially one with cookies involved. <laughs> Who wouldn't love a cookie stream? Seriously, quarter cup of granulated sugar. All right. Anybody who doesn't love baking cookie streams is not human. I feel like. Or are, is named Pie Boy because they only want to make pies or show because they only want to make cakes or, or something. Did I say shakes? I mean cakes. I should do the patriotic M&M &M cookies next time so you can make, say my mama made me mash my M&Ms. That is actually something that, uh, <laughs> or, uh, our choir teacher has to say sometimes to warm up your consonants. All right, quarter cup sugar, granulated sugar. Okay. So many ingredients. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move this off to the side. Figure out how to close that later. Uh, you made the best cookies, the Starship Cookie Prize. <laughs> That's right. Okay, why would you close? So, medium bowl, use an electric mixer, cream together coconut oil, sugars until light and fluffy, add egg and vanilla and beat until well combined. All right, so egg and vanilla is what I'll need after I do this. Vanilla extract. I know we say it too during choir warm up, yep. Hey, what's up, TL? How are you doing, my friends? You can see all of my ingredients are new. I had to buy every single ingredient because I didn't have sugar, I didn't have baking powder, baking soda, all that stuff. Gotta open up the vanilla here. I swear, vanilla extract smells like you're in a uh, like a salon or something that really kind of strong, almost alcohol smell to it. Vanilla is expensive stuff, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this little thing was like three bucks, or something like that. And I got like the off-brand, didn't get like the McCormick or anything, okay. Okay, so we're gonna mix together this stuff and then we'll put the eggs, or the single egg. All right, all thanks to Shogi. Get electric tools on stream.
Many vanillas died to bring you this extract. <laughs> Well, their sacrifice was worth it for cookies. Rand operating heavy machinery. <laughs> All right. It says light and fluffy. I don't know how light and fluffy this will be. It also said it might be too... It said I might have to put it in the fridge for a bit if it's uh, too liquidy. So I guess we'll see. I'm hack soaring. Okay, I think this is about good and I can add the vanilla and the egg. Okay. So we've got that. I feel like this is not enough, but that's because I haven't added to the dry ingredients. So, um... Add egg and vanilla and beat until well combined. So it's one egg and a teaspoon, a whole teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, teaspoon. Skills are good, guys. Not bad. Not bad. No shells in the cookie dough. Play some FTL for added salt. <laughs> well, I will say, a new person who joined us this morning just kept asking about Slug B. I'm like, uh, you can't crack in one egg in one hand, to be honest. Aren't you a chef? I feel like that's a chef skill. All right, that's starting to look like cookie dough. You can see. Maybe you can see. I don't know if you can see. Uh, just got to crack on, really. Oh my god! Oh my god! All the, all the puns. All right, this is starting to look like creamy cookie dough. Okay, and then I think I'm supposed to add the dry ingredients to this bowl. Let me check and make sure. Let me close off the coconut oil before I spill it everywhere. No, it's right when you see the gold. Yeah, this is looking pretty good, man. Mmm, looking good. All right, so I think I just gradually add the dry ingredients as I mix is what I do next. Um, gradually add dry ingredients to wet ingredients, stirring until well blended. Stir in chocolate chips. Okay. So I'm just going to keep mixing. Mixing with the dry ingredients here. You got more, so many more, you're your chef. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do little bits at a time while we mix it. Thank God for Shogi and this mixer. Without the mixer, this would take way longer. So thank you again, Shogi, for the mixer, man. You're awesome. Scrambled by your excellent puns. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
You're actually slightly impressed that Rand has lasted this long since he lives in Sonic and Little Caesars. <laughs> Well, let's just hope this dough comes out well. It's looking a little dry to me, but. Put the last of that in there. I might want to add an extra egg. I don't know, Pie Boy, do you think it would hurt to add an extra egg if I feel like it's dry? I feel like it wouldn't hurt to add an extra egg. I've already, it's preheating right now. I think it's actually done. Because it's looking a little crumbly to me. Like, I feel like that looks a little crumbly. I think I want to add an extra egg here. Proteins don't hurt. Do I like to eat the raw cookie dough? Well, the more, the more cookie dough you eat, the less cookies you get. So I don't know. Add one extra egg here. One of the recipes I saw used two eggs, so when I saw this only use one egg, I thought that was not enough anyway, so. Yeah, I feel like that's that's looking better. Help me, guys. I'm improvising. I'm improvising. Leftover cookie dough? Sure. Yeah, sure. Leftover cookie dough? Definitely. All right. This is looking good. I think that egg helped a lot. All right. I think we just need to add chocolate chips and then get bacon. There you can see. Let's try to have a, have a bit of it, see how it tastes. Pretty good. Might need to get the spoon out. Now let me uh, do this. Uh, get another spoon and get most of this excess in here. Uh, I don't know why it's not called chocolate flakes instead of chocolate chips or chocolate chunks. Well, you can get chocolate chunks, but I think chips has to do with the shape of it. That um, kind of teardrop shape is just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe other nationalities call it different stuff. Okay. Here you go, guys. You can share with me. Bake them. Hmm? You're gonna make some cookies tomorrow. You have all the stuff. <laughs> it's pretty good. I feel like it could maybe use a little more sugar, but that's just me. We'll see how they how they come out. Lick, lick. Your screen tastes funny. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, Now I think we just add the chocolate chips and we're good to go. Don't lick Rand. <laughs> That's Rand after hours. Gosh, okay. So let me just check how many. And I usually add more chocolate chips than the recipe says because, you know, you can never have too many chocolate chips. Um, stir in how many chocolate chips? It says a cup. I usually do like an extra half a cup or something. You're off to play D&D? All right, Pie Boy. Thanks for your help, man. Enjoy your D&D, sir. Okay. Never hurts to have extra chocolate chips, man. We'll just stir this with our new wooden um, bamboo spoon. 
You might look on your phone if you can help it though. Okay. <laughs> oh man, it's looking good, guys. It's looking freaking good. It says I'm supposed to get 24 cookies out of this, so I guess we'll see. You save no expense on those chocolate chips. Get her deli. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're they're pretty much the same price as like Hershey's and everything else. Maybe a dollar more, but I was like, you know what? Get her deli's the good stuff. You gotta go all out, man. Okay. All right. I think we are good to start scooping them. And I'll probably use a. Uh, What do you think? Should I use a teaspoon or a tablespoon to make the cookies? That's the good stuff, man. It's the good stuff. All right, so I got uh, parchment paper. So it doesn't stick to the pans here. How do I open this thing? Is a teaspoon? I feel like a tablespoon might be too big for, uh, for it. I don't know. You're not hungry because you just ate meat and pasta, but you want cookies so badly. <laughs> you know? I, I, I wouldn't do this on my own time, but hanging out with you guys, that'll make me want to make some cookies. Let me turn the AC on because it's getting hot from the oven. It's getting hot in here. Uh, what is ESO? Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online and Slay the Spire. And I'm not sure what I'm going to play. I'll be honest. I'm not sure what I'm going to play after we're done making cookies. But it'll be a little while because it takes some time to bake. And we have to, of course, see the... I was going to say the fruits of our labors, but the cookies of our labors... Have to see the cookies of our labors. All right, so there's one. The sheet. Wow, why is this so hot? I swear my oven is terrible. Like the heat from the oven comes through to the actual surface units, whatever they're called. Do not turn AC and oven on at the same time. It will kill your wallet. No, it's fine. It's fine. The AC is not actually on. I just it's automatic so that when it gets hot enough, it will turn on. You tried to update ESO, it's like a metric ton of updates. Yeah. Yeah, I it took like an hour and a half for it to update for me the other day. I don't even have Warframe installed on my computer, Shogi, so I don't know that I, I could do Warframe. I mean, maybe we could do some Civ 5 if we want to do a, a viewer games. You're going to the gym in an hour for two hours, and we'll be back if you're on ESO. You're down to group? Sweet. Okay, all right. Let's do the... All right, I don't know that this one pan is going to be that good. That's for cakes. That'll be our backup pan. Uh, whew, that is hot. Why is the heat coming through here? Pretty sure the heat's not supposed to come through there. Okay, great. All right, um... So I'm going to use a teaspoon. A teaspoon and my hand is what we'll do. So I'm going to do 12 on this guy. Uh, Sif 5, you try hard and watch videos on how you were told noob and now you're a pro at the game. You beat the second hardest AI. Nice. This does, I feel like I might need to cool this a bit. These do seem a little, since I added that egg. You know what, before I do this, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for just a little bit. I feel like it's a little melty. So let me chill it just a little bit. It said if the cookie dough seems, um, what did it say? 
Uh, if dough was too soft, it did feel a little soft. Hand spoon. That's right. That's the American measurement. Hand spoon. Also, the uh, chocolate was melting because apparently my oven, when you preheat the oven, all the heat comes out freaking underneath the thing, too, which is bad. So, let me move that off the... I will say, my apartment oven pretty much sucks, so. It works, but it kind of sucks. You're a try-hard pro. <laughs> Your oven is a furnace engine that powers the baker's delight, obviously, obviously, obviously. It's got to have a lot of power if it's going to power an entire ship through space. So, uh, anyway, we well, yeah, have been playing ESO and I started a new character last night because, um, apparently the build I was trying to do, the race I chose has actually zero bonuses for that race. So, or that race has zero bonuses for that class. Y'all have to let me know if the music is too loud or anything, if I should turn it off. Okay. I don't want to... I don't think I need to let it chill too long, just long enough to make it so it's not so soft. So, there is no music? Well, it's on, but it might be like really, really quiet. Really? You don't hear music at all? Huh. I like can see it over there playing. 5%. Yeah, that's probably why, because the volume's so low. So, anyway, it's fine. probably better be too soft than to be too loud so okay well I can put ingredients away well that's chilling okay <clears throat> I hope these cookies are good and that I don't burn them that is what I hope okay Put these in a little bag. I will say the eggs I used, I bought about a month and a half ago for something else that I made. So I was just happy when I cracked one last night that it didn't look bad. I don't know what bad eggs look like, though. So just so you know, race doesn't make that much of a difference overall. You can still do all the content with any race, any class, even with a mix between Magicka and Stam. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I wanted to min-max my character, so. Uh, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> so the eggs are a little old, so I guess we'll see how if I feel like the taste is bad. <laughs> I don't know how long eggs are until they go bad. Maybe they don't go bad. I don't know. I'm hoping they don't go bad. I'm going to use a paper clip to close this. Totally ghetto this. There's an expiration date on them. Well, the only expiration date I saw was the sell by date, not the use by date. So. <laughs> Shogi, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. You can store eggs for a long, long time. I mean, they've been in my fridge the whole time, so. The mad baker with his Franken cookies. That's me, man. All right, should I refrigerate coconut oil after I open it? I've never used it before. Um, does anybody know if I should refrigerate it I think if it's just kept in a cool dry place I don't think I need to refrigerate it you wouldn't refrigerate any oil okay five weeks five weeks uh, I'm pretty sure it was longer than five weeks <laughs> it's fine guys it's fine if I die from egg poisoning you know I went I went out with eating good cookies Hopefully they are actually good. Okay. 
Okay, they're a little firmer. Again, giggity. So let's do this. Let's make some cookies. Why do I have two spoons? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. I mean, he eats like Little Caesars, she'll be fine. I haven't eaten Little Caesars in months, I'll have you know. <laughs> Ever since Shogi called it a bowl of pizza, it's kind of made me uh, not too excited to eat it very much anymore. I still eat Pizza Hut, but uh, <laughs> not the Ebola pizza as much. It's been, it's been many months, many months I've had the Ebola pizza. So, are you happy, Shogi? You got me off of Little Caesars. That, that's probably healthier stopping eating than eating some month-old eggs. Sometimes you like to stick crushed walnuts in the cookies. Yeah. I do not like nuts. Even though I eat peanut butter like crazy. Do not like nuts. Why would you eat a bowl of pizza? Because it's delicious. Because it's delicious. Uh, let's see, you're still on old eggs, good sir. Now he's eating Ebola eggs. <laughs> no. They're not Ebola eggs. Peanut butter is a whole different food. So creamy and smooth, yes. And that's why I like it. And I don't like nuts because they are crunchy and not smooth. I don't like crunchy peanut butter. In my mind, there's nothing more uh, deceptive than crunchy peanut butter. It's supposed to be smooth, buttery, and delicious. And it's not. Okay, so I'm going to get these started in the oven while I get the other ones going so how long do I cook these seven to nine minutes uh, let's actually get the other one filled before we put these in I want to put them all in at the same time I'm baking cookies in a cake sheet I hope this doesn't screw them up too much. Or maybe these cookies will become a cake. Uh, if you get crushed nuts into dough, they're not crunchy anymore after the cookie is done. Hmm. Well, I just want what's in chocolate chip cookies. I don't want... <laughs> I don't need any nuts in my chocolate chip cookies. You don't like chucky nut butters of any kind? Sounds dirty. You won't even notice anything apart from the better taste. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I would notice that. Cookie cake is a winner. Yeah, I still have that recipe saved from the cookie cake that Desert Eagle used for his ship. I still have that recipe saved, so... <laughs> Maybe we'll have to make a cookie cake at some point. Cakey's. <laughs> oh my god, that would probably be amazing as well. Okay, almost done. Got like two more cookies worth here. Actually, this might be the last one. Last one has, always has the most chocolate chips in it. OK. 
Okay, all right. All right, so what do we say? Seven to nine minutes? It says seven to nine minutes or until edges are slightly brown. Transfer to a wire rack to cool completely. All right, let's do it. set my timer for seven minutes. Turn the light on so we can look and then you know you gotta you gotta eat the last cookie dough. Have you ever made Madeline's Madeline's there you're so in love with those? I've never made them. I might have had them at a restaurant before. Burger dropped some some bits burger thank you for the bits man. You dropped them on my cookies? <laughs> well, I hope they're chocolate bits. They're chocolate bits I'm down. It's funny, the cookie dough, consistency of cookie dough reminds me of a thing that my mom used to make called peanut butter candy, which is basically um, uh, powdered sugar, dry milk, peanut butter, and syrup, all in equal measures. And it was super good, but it, I think it, you, I think that was originally some sort of cookie dough, because the consistency is very cookie dough-like. So. I often come with a small amount of powdered sugar on them. Or half dipped in chocolate. I think me and the ex may have had those at a restaurant back way back when. Are they almost like little donut type things? Like little French pastries or something? Okay. All right, let's hope they cook well. I don't have a drying rack, but I do have this, these two other like random metal things that my church friend gave to me. I feel like that's kind of a drying rack. I feel like if these cookies turn out well, we can call ourselves officially bakers, guys. Officially bakers. Permission to post a recipe? Uh, sure. Uh, burger or shogi, can you guys permit manu stands? Although manu stands, if you're a sub. I don't think you need permission. Uh, get this man water. Uh, orange Madelines. Okay, well, man who stands, I, I can't actually look at links, so if you want to give me that recipe, you can PM that to me, and I can look at it. I don't know if we're going to, like, make baking on stream a normal thing now, <laughs> although the setup wasn't too hard to get together, so I might be able to do some more of this if we want to. I feel like... I'm not the best cook to be showing people how to cook, but uh, if these cookies turn out, maybe it will be worthwhile. 404 not found on the link. Great. Those are banging cookies. Did you look at the picture from the recipe? Uh, they're looking a little liquidy in there. So some of these cookies may uh, connect to each other, but that'll probably be okay. Liquid cookies. Delicious. More baking streams are a winner in your book? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I would like to try to make that cookie cake, although I don't know if the recipe for that cookie cake is probably not going to be non-dairy. So I might have to, like, alter it or just accept that I have to eat some dairy stuff. No crossing the cookie streams. Crossing the cookie streams? Does that mean no cookie cake streams? So these will be my drying racks here. I don't know. They're looking pretty good in there, man. They're looking pretty good. Oh, man. I have not made homemade cookies in like a year and a half or longer. So awesome. If nothing else, we can always do more cookie baking streams. 
Yes, I know. I got the Ghostbusters reference. I did. It means don't meld cookies together or the world will be destroyed. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta say, if the world's gotta go, chocolate chip cookies are a way to go, I feel like. So, uh, Rand got a movie reference, yay. <laughs> well, if it's like, if it's Three Amigos, or Ghostbusters, or Princess Bride, or what other movie, Star Wars, I'll probably get the reference. It's just, if it's like a recent movie in the last five years, I might not have seen it. Because, you like cookies, Demonian? You were in the right place. My friend, you are earning cookies just by being here. Oh, man, those are looking good. I will show you guys. Oh, I see your link, uh, man who stands. I see the message. Cookies need to be born and created separately. They are too powerful and sugary to be allowed to join powers together. <laughs> With our powers combined, we cookies will become ultimate cookie. I think these are going to be really good, guys. I'd move the camera to show you, but um, my camera's wire is at maximum length, even with a USB extending cord. What I might actually do, if we're going to do more of these streams, is buy a USB extending cord that's like 10 feet long, so it's easier to get the camera in place over here. Uh, what did you do there? That would be sweet. See what I did? Oh, my God. It's the puns. It's all the puns today. Cookie Supreme, the destroyer of Earth and bringer of diabetes. <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> well, if anybody knew about it, it would be Shogi and me would know about that. Bringer of diabetes. Diabetes. Man, I feel pretty accomplished. Last week, I made... Um, uh, Fettuccine chicken alfredo, and it was really good and lasted me like six days. My stomach actually got a little tired of eating so much of it, but I made it. It was delicious. We're making cookies today, and they're looking pretty darn good, man. Feeling like a apprentice chef here. Do you know that the Cookie Monster says that cookies are sometimes are a sometimes snack now? Oh, really? <laughs> they have to... Too many parents complaining about Cookie Monsters making their kids want to grab all the cookies and eat them all. Yeah, that is different than when I grew up, that's for sure. All right, seven to nine minutes. I think we should go another minute. They're looking good, but the edges are not quite brown yet. I think my actual cookie sheet is cooking slightly faster. That's true, Sesame Street has got to be more PC nowadays. <laughs> Everything has to be more PC nowadays. Okay, let's see. This will be awesome, too, because these will be... I don't think I've made non-dairy cookies before. I think I made gluten-free cookies, but I think I always used butter in my cookies before, so we'll have to see how, how good coconut oil cookies are. How many cookies am I going for? Well, it said it makes 24, but I think I'm making about uh, 14, 16, 18, like 20, so close to two dozen. My PC is very PC nowadays. <laughs> Rand is a cookie monster with salt. Uh, that's that's basically true. Okay, I'm about to pull out one sheet. It's just about done. Salt cookies. Well, there is a little salt in these cookies. Baking soda, baking powder, and a little bit of salt is what these uh, said. You like big cookies, crispy on the outside, soft and gooey on the inside? I just like soft and gooey through and through. I'm, I'm a big gooey cookie fan. So I actually usually cook them slightly shorter than probably some people do. Which I think one first dozen are just about done, so I think I might pull these out now. Can you bring it in the chair so when you duck down we can have a chair stream? <laughs> gooey, such a strange word. It's a delicious word. Gooey, creamy, and delicious. You like crispy and a little soft? You like soft cookies? Soft are the way to go. Okay. What do you guys think? 
Looking pretty good, right? I think those look good. Just a tiny bit of brown at the edges. Move them to the drying rack here, or the whatever. I think those are looking pretty awesome. And the other ones are going to be a little, since they're in the cake thing, they're cooking a little more vertical than wide, so <laughs> they're going to be like smaller, um, maybe even better looking cookies. You call dibs on six of them? <laughs> six of them. These cookies are all mine. I don't know what you're talking about. You got to come over to my place if you want cookies. Uh, question ran, how would Rev eat those cookies? Um, wow, he'd have to, doesn't he have some face inhaler thing in front of his mouth he would have to be like um darth vader pulling his helmet off eating it and then put his helmet back on before he dies of not being able to breathe so that's how all right i think these ones are about done too you're a big government now you have to take a 50 percent tax of my cookies <laughs> well these cookies look pretty darn good so i don't blame you There we go, and those are the next ones. Got a little uh, taller, I don't know, um, chunkier looking cookies. Let's turn this off. See if I can make room on the drying rack. Drying rack, or whatever you want to call this. I gotta say guys, pretty happy with these. These are looking awesome. Cooling rack. There you go. <laughs> Skyscraper cookies. Second batch looks even better than the first. They all look good, man. Here, let me see if I can get a close-up with the uh, camera here. Well, I can't really move it much. Nope, I can't move it at all. Never mind. Hopefully you guys can see from there. Okay. Well, I think i got to have one cookie to celebrate. How long did they take us? About an hour. That's not too bad hour to make a batch of close to two dozen cookies one single cookie <laughs> I'd like to have like 20 but uh, I wonder did they do they tell you how to store them should I like I don't really have a Tupperware or anything to keep them in um, maybe I can just put them in um, like my plastic sandwich bags Probably putting them in a little plastic bags will be good. One cookie to rule them all and in the darkness. Bite them. Cherry, cherry, later, you pepo dance. Is that what's playing right now? <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Okay, they're still pretty soft and gooey. I'm going to wait a little longer. They didn't even stick together that much. Awesome. Just gambled 4,000 cookies. Oh my God. Oh my God. I do want to wait to um, swap over to the regular part of the stream until after these cool so I can put them in a bag. Sometimes you melt chocolate and drip your cookies half in it and then use the rest of the chocolate on fruit. That sounds good. When I used to make cookies more often, I would sometimes get like a... Um, uh, with like those baking chocolate bars and like just cut them up and put them in there So it's like chocolate chips and some chocolate like chunks and stuff, too. So extra chocolate can't go wrong with extra chocolate The monka s was real oh god Okay The melty chocolatey chips so good Okay Feel like we gotta try one of these. They're all so gooey. I wanna wait till they're at least cooled just a little bit longer. I always like the fresh out of the oven cookies. They're so, they're like the best. You like that? You often do a bittersweet and milk chocolate chip in the same cookie. I don't like bittersweet chocolate. Bittersweet is like a lie. It's like, it's chocolate. Milk chocolate should be sweet. I'm, I'm with Desert Eagle. 
bitter chocolate is a lie, like the cake is a lie in in uh, Portal. All right, let's see here. All right, guys, we're gonna christen our cookies by eating the first one here. That is a good cookie. Very nice. GG cookie time. <laughs> That's why you mix them. It's good, man. That's good. It's a good cookie. This is dairy free. Made with coconut oil instead of the butter, man. It's really good. Probably will be even better once they um cool down. Now save them for games, yeah. I still have some of the Chips Ahoy cookies I've been using. But um, these are our GG cookie times for a week if they last that long. <laughs> so I'm curious what the salt, baking soda, and baking powder did. Maybe that made the dough, like, rise a little better or something. Um, it's good, though. I will, I will say successful first cookie baking stream. We'll have to do this again. Every time we want it, run out, do a cookie baking stream. <laughs> Why are you wasting time cooking baby food? Oh my God, Shaggy to gold. When I should be mating. My God. You show up at the weirdest time, Shaggy to gold. Job well con, con, done. Uh, Shaggy to gold making cookies is uh, never... Never a waste of time, sir. Never a waste of time. Cookies are best food. That's right. If babies are eating cookies, then that's a bad parrot. <laughs> cookies are for babies. Well, then I'm a, just a big baby, okay? Because cookies are for Rand. Cookies are for Rand. All right, let me just put these in plastic bags, and then we will decide what, we wanna, what game we want to actually play today. Actually play video games today. What do you guys think? Should we play some Civ 